guys, welcome to the guide. I'm going to show you how efficient this is. Gold flies into your anus. It's ridiculous. Okay, so my mailbox is all my auctions on a lazy day of farming. Yes, a lazy day. This, in total, took me about an hour and 20 minutes, I believe, for about an hour and 20 minutes got me about 10k, 11, 11, no, yeah, 10, 10k gold and uh, 10,051 gold. Sorry, I can't even speak. Okay, so this is just a recommendation. This is nothing that you have to do. But, uh, okay, so arguably fishing is probably the most efficient way of getting your fell blight. Um, I'm just saying it from experience because it's ridiculous. I haven't heard anybody actually fishing up five fell blight at a time. Yes, you can actually obtain five fell blight randomly through pools of uh, the fell mouth frenzies or whatever. Okay, so to make this as efficient as possible, what you're going to need or what I recommend you using is the level three fishing shack. Then you're going to be fishing up your frost deep minnows. Okay. This will create a boss. I don't know if you guys know uh, about this because most people just kind of skip over the fishing shack. You kill this guy, and now he's going to be dropping quite a few things. And the things you're actually looking for are going to be Worm Supremes because you will get 200 fishing skill. Okay. Then after that, he also drops fishing BOAs. Now, the fishing BOAs goes as follows. Okay, so we're lucked out with that. We got anything over here? Shit. Boom! Okay, so this is actually the most rare uh, BOA of them all. Unfortunately, I have the other one to show you. Okay, so anyway, this is the fishing pole. It will give you 100 skill plus the 200. Okay, so let's just slap that on right real quick. So we'll enchant it with the Worm Supreme. Okay, so now we have 200. So that's 300 in total on this. Then we have the hat that also comes out of these guys. It is an additional 100 fishing skill. Okay, this is absolutely ridiculous. And then... We go down to it for the summary. I th bleh, 1100 fishing skill. Now, the reason why I said arguably, probably the most efficient way of getting Felblight is because of the simple fact of you have an enormous amount of plus skill, which is insane, and it gives you an advantage. I think it does. And skinning, mining, um, herbalism, you know. Some of them might have like a plus 5, plus 10 and stuff like that, but nothing will touch the whopping 1100 fishing skill you will be getting. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, for those of you that do have uh, the things that I just mentioned that I would recommend to enhance the production of your fell blight, is farming up the bait as much as possible, which is unfortunately up to 5 of these little uh, cave dweller baits that you throw into your garrison waters, farm these guys up, get as much Worm Supremes as you can, and then just go go ape shit. You know what I'm saying? Take over Tannin Jungle, man. Go to town. Um, yeah, so now what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to show you my route and tell you exactly what... Eh, there we go. We got a hat now. Bang, bang. I'm going to show you exactly uh, where to go. Um, and my favorite spots, and how much money you will be generating, how much you will be obtaining uh, within the hours of you know your farming schedule, and overall what I think about it. Okay, guys, just give me one moment, and we're gonna just teleport your ass over there. All right, thank you, boo boo. Continuing on, anyways. So this is where you're gonna be in Tan and Jungle. You are going to be going from where I'm at, where the roads meet, right outside of Valmar, and you're going to work your way down. And then from there, you're going to be taking this road down here to this lake. And we're going to do that real quick. So, two pulls so far. And the I think the beauty of this little route that I've stumbled upon on is... um. Pools never run out, if that makes any sense. Like, there's no real time waiting in between them. You know what I'm saying? Like, the moment you finish up over here, you're like, fuck, we need more. Run over here. You know, and uh, just just have to make this known right now. Um, good Lord Jesus. Let me explain this, man. <laughs> this is so aggravating, and I can't stress this enough. You need motivation for this. That's That's it. Bottom line, you need motivation for this. And if you don't... 
this is probably not going to be for you. This is look, all I'm trying to do with this guide is help out my fellow PVPers, okay? Because at the end of the day, we don't really have much to make money, okay? We don't have much to make money with. So, we have to rely on our professions. We have to pray to God whenever we're doing a transmog run, we get, you know, a BOE drop and we can sell that to some transmogging whore, you know, for a large sum. So we can continue to pay for our subscription without contributing money to the douchebags that care mm, anywhere to no fucks given. Okay, I don't even know where I was going with that. But yeah, so here's the second part of the route, and that's actually the final part. And usually you need a little bit of motivation, and I'm getting my... Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Um, usually you need a little bit of motivation, so excuse me. So if you're not going... To pump yourself up one way or another, whatever ritual it may be. Shit, sometimes people floss their asshole with a towel. I don't know what gets you randy. I'm just saying shit is necessary. Okay? So we got one pool in the corner. Yeah, as I uh, use my little raft. Another one on the side. In the center. And there should be one right over here. Now, this route will generate anywhere from... I'll give you an hour span. An hour span, you should have about 15 to 20. Second hour, 30. And that's pretty much self-explanatory after that. Um, depending on your market, uh, you'll generate anywhere from... For 15, I'll, I'll make an easy 8 to 10K. Yeah, 8 to 10K. And then um, for 30, I'll probably make anywhere from... I think 15.6k? Yeah, 15.6k. So, this is a quick money generator. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, remember, right outside Walmart, halfway through this one, down, across, down, across. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please leave it down below, and I will answer it with as much informative action as I can. And, yeah, thanks again, Baby Boosh Next.